I minored in philosophy in college, and Meredith is keen on the subject as well. I don't know why I go. I don't know why that was where I went with my accent, but there we are. The philosophy is not my father's forte, but what do you think, Farmer Pyle? Honestly, it's not my cup of tea. I mean, I took my required courses, but it was always just a little bit too divorced from praxis for me to really be able to appreciate a good philosophical debate. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of my Stardew Valley Expanded Super Modded Playthrough. It's year three, fall 15. That's right, that's crazy. I can't believe we have been playing this game that long that it's almost winter time in our third year. But here we are, and have we got an episode for you? I've got my drink right here in my hand. Well, it's not really in my hand because I'm using my hand with my mouse now. Um, I've got my pen here to write down any handy dandy notes I need. And uh, most importantly, though, I have you. So thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. <sighs> I promise I'll try not to waste it. We'll go. Ooh. <clears throat> Let me just clear that out there. We'll go. As Gomer Pyle would say, my namesake, uh, Pelican Fair tomorrow. Is this the one where I have to throw the uh, the stuff into the pot and everyone drinks it, eats it, something or other? Let me see here. Let's get some coffee. I think I have my calendar up here on this wall. I do. Stardew Valley Fair. Is that the one? I think that's the one, right? Where everyone throws in their best things. I'm going to have to check into that because I don't recall at all. We're going to use for the Grange display. Thank you, Sophia. See, this is why uh, most guys get married. So that the our wives can keep our schedules straight. Oh, look, it's Shane. Oh, that's right. Last time we did have the six-star event, six-heart event with Shane. So here we go. Today we were helping him. He was ready to roll himself off the cliff and die. So uh, how do I say this? I'm really sorry about what happened at the cliffs. That was embarrassing. I'm glad I was there to help. You needed a serious way. I'm just happy you're still here. Um, uh, we'll go with, I'm glad I was there to help. Yeah, me too. What happens if someone's not there to help though, Shane? I decided I want to see a therapist. How do we me in touch with a colleague of his? See, this is good. Therapy is important. Even if you think you're a well-adjusted person. You still should, you, once in a while, I mean, you wouldn't go 100,000 miles without getting an oil change, right? A little bit of routine maintenance on the vehicle? You shouldn't do that with your life either. Piles wisdom right there. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for taking care of me. And I want you to know that I'm going to take things a little bit more seriously from now on. I don't want to be a burden on anyone. Well, that's good to know, Shane. I think personal responsibility is a, is a goal that we should all be striving toward. Anyways, we're going to try something a little bit different today. You are probably noticing when you clicked on the video, wow, and I can't click on the mailbox. Uh, da -da 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 -da, nine items for the Grange display. I'm going to have to probably think of that today. Uh, the shorter episode is shorter because we're trying something new. I have thought about this for a while. I like doing the content that I that I do. Essentially, two, um, two different videos. The problem is, I don't like only having, you know, two days. I, I know that there are a lot of you that enjoy the content and like to see it as often as possible. And when I only have two days, oh man, everything is done here. This is awful. Um, when I only have uh, two days of content, that means that the rest of the time, you know, many of you are, are a little bummed out. And I don't like that. I don't like that. So I thought, what about this? I do two days of content on, ooh, what should we, oh, probably the Amaranth, right? Uh, I, I have two days that I um, that I record here. So what if I broke that up into two different days? I, had to, I completely lost my train of thought on that one. My bad. Um, so so yeah, I, I think we're just gonna do one day here and then release it, as you noticed, maybe by surprise on uh, Tuesday, and uh, one maybe for actually let's keep the five. I don't want to get rid of that. We'll do three. So that keeps 15. So I'll have, I'll keep, I will keep these so that I can, uh, actually, I can do the five like that. That actually makes more sense. Uh, I think I have enough gold and amaranth. So we, we're good. Um, so I think we're going to try that to see how it goes. I don't yet know if this is what I want to do either. This is, um, this is new for me because it will be a little bit extra. Holy cow. It'll be a little bit extra work for me. I'll have twice as many videos for starter to edit but each one 
the recording time shouldn't take as long. And since I do use the handy dandy notepad to do the handy dandy notes, um, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that that's sufficient. Come on, get out of the way, piggy face. I'm trying to get to the doggo. Thank you. Did I not get any? Oh, I did. Let's go ahead and throw you in there. Oh, looky, looky. We're all done with these. One, two, three. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to plant a lot. It is the 15th, so we have plenty of time for this. But um, ba -ba 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 -da. put away our milk jug or milk pan pile thing. Words are hard, and then we can do this. Ah, oh, perfect. Now we're now we're cooking with iron. Milk. That's body good. Whatever they say. So yeah, this each video will be a little bit shorter. You know, a little bit more bite-sized uh, action here. But I think it'll be the same amount of content. Actually, you might actually even get a little bit extra content over the course of the of the um, the week itself, over the whole week. Because now I will be, you know, I'll have twice the intros and twice the outros. And, and I will probably feel compelled to do a little bit more recording during each video so that I'm not doing, like, seven-minute videos, which is not where I, my target is. My target is... 10 to 12 minutes-ish for each video based on what's going on. Now, Friday's episode might end up being a little longer, as you might imagine, since we do have the Grange display and we like to do all that stuff. But, um, you know, well, y you know how it is. You know how it is. We'll try it. We'll try what we can do. We'll see what we can do. And we will uh, adjust as needed. But I need your input on this. You're the reason I do this. You're the ones who are kind of like my boss. So I want you to tell me in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you prefer to have uh, one big... I'm just getting um, hay right now. Oh, I did wait long enough. Uh, would you prefer to have one big giant episode released every Friday with a little bit more editing? Or are you satisfied with uh, having some shorter content delivered more often? What would make you happy? That's what I want to I'm going to go ahead and finish up with some seeds and go into the greenhouse. There's probably a lot of stuff in there for that. And then i got a plant over here. And then I'm going to actually start to think about what I want to bring for the Grange display. I don't remember exactly the parameters, except that there are different categories. And I want to bring the best quality I can. And I'm pretty sure I can keep them at the end, too, which is always helpful. So we're going to do those things and uh, be, be back soon. We did manage to get... Um, oh, Pileplasm's awake. Hi, Pileplasm. Can't talk to you, apparently. Oh, we didn't say hi to Pilot today, though. Uh-oh. Um, we did manage to get three wines, and I think they're ancient root wines, which is always, always nice. So I'm going to go ahead and drop them down. And they started off at silver quality. So let's take a tour of our new and improved wine cellar. Oh, look at all those bottles. Uh, I believe plain, and then silver goes here. And then when these turn gold, I'll know to throw them down in the bottom barrels. Oh, I only put two down here, though, so. Um, and now it's time for us to figure out what to put in our Grange display. So I think you could do cooked foods and stuff, but most of my cooked foods are actually... I keep them out here. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. I don't want to put weapons up in there. Don't want to put those up in there. All right, here we go. Gold or Iridium quality... Well, we can do an Iridium quality wine, so let's grab that. Uh, I think we should do... do, 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 do. Nothing here is quality based. So what do we have the most of? Spicy eel, but that's my favorite thing to bring to the caverns. Uh, let's go over here, drop that off. Um, hmm. Oh, I could bring the aged moon. Uh, I should bring this because I think I get it back at the end. So we're going to bring that too. And so that's two. Let's bring a... I think I have one of the... One of the mayonnaises in there already. Uh, I don't recall if I could bring minerals or not. But let's just bring that just in case. Maybe foraging. Foraging is probably a different area. We'll bring a sweet pea. Um, I definitely want to make sure these go into a, an entirely different row. That's right. And the truffle oil is to sell. And what do we have in the garbage? Oh, we have a regular old truffle. That actually might not be a bad idea. I, w I should bring a gold quality crop. Gold, do they have iridium quality crops? I don't think we do. So yeah, we'll bring a gold quality crop that we were otherwise gonna throw out. There's six things. 
I forgot how many I need exactly. It's either six, eight, or nine. Six, eight, or nine. You know, you know, six, eight, or nine. I have, okay, so I've got wine. I've got a food, sort of. I guess that's an artisan good. Oh, it says it on, doesn't it? Resource flower, nothing. Vegetable. So I'm going to actually put back the blueberry wine. Oops. I don't think I'm going to need that. We could do artisan good. Okay, so here we go. Artisan goods is probably its own thing. We'll bring a duck feather, though. Woohoo! Uh, duck tail. So we've got animal products. There's cooking. Artifact. Oh, we can bring an artifact. We can bring an artifact. We should bring an artifact. Let's get that wine back up in here, though. All right, so the duck feather. So we've got artisan good, animal product, resource, flower, vegetable, nothing. But we'll see. Maybe that probably actually counts as an animal product. Oh, I should bring uh, a tree fruit. Wait, forage, flower. Okay, forage. And so maybe we don't get the sweet pea. What if instead of a sweet pea flower, because I've already got a different forage, what if we bring a bird of paradise flower, which is much more rare? We'll put the sweet. You know, we'll keep the sweet pea and we'll give that to somebody. Oh, well, I'm here. I'm gonna toss it, this truffle oil before I forget. That's an artisan good. Artisan good. Artisan good. Artisan good. Vegetables. Okay, so we've got a forage, a chanterelle. Those are always nice to have, anyways. Um, and now let's find some kind of a gem, a mineral, a resource. Let's bring a an iridium diamond. And, man, people are just not going to have a chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll just choose which ones we want to put in after that. Uh, artifact. We don't have an artifact, right? Um, we should bring one extra since this doesn't have a category. Maybe we'll bring one extra as well. I should bring a bomb. <laughs> Collector's item. That's a different thing, too. What do we have the most of? I guess uh, prehistoric tibias. Rusty spurs. Elvish jewelry is always nice. No elvish, no elvish bones have ever been found. Isn't that a shame? Glass. Nah, these are all run of the bill. Monster loot. I could bring some monster loot. I have the least of these, so why don't we bring that? That's got to be more valuable, I would imagine. An artifact trove. No, I don't want to bring that out either. Uh, We'll go with the rusty... No, the elvish jewelry. We'll go with the elvish jewelry. Anything else that I could bring? Oh, fish. I don't have any fish. Let's find some iridium quality fish that we've got several of. Oh, we should do the brain slug. That's pretty sweet. Hagfish. Mm, some of these some of these are nice rare fishes, but I feel like we should bring one of them. Oh, we could do like a midnight. Oh, what about the What about the midnight carp? Let's try that. See what else we've got here. Could do Avoid evil puss, though. Those are pretty funny. A pup fish. We could do a pup fish because that's what our wifey likes the most. Kitty fish. Pup fish. Puppy fish. We'll do the puppy fish. Put the midnight cart back. Okay, so there's our items that we're going to bring. We obviously aren't going to be able to put all of them into the contra contraption at the Grange. But that's what we're going to bring for tomorrow. Okay, now I can go ahead and find some people and make some friends. So I'll bring this to the top because I know I'm gonna want Shane to, uh, to want to give Shane another gift. Where's he? Hey, we got ourselves another cutscene. Meredith, who's Meredith? I agree with the author's thesis, but I think his paper was uninspired. Indeed, have you read the latest issue of Philosophy Monthly about this? They published a very interesting review. Hmm. Hmm. Everybody's hmming. Uh oh, they're talking about Rodney. Please join us. Just straight up, please join us. Hello, Pyle. How are you today? Let me introduce you to my beloved offspring, Meredith. Oh, it's his daughter. I didn't know that. Hi, I'm Meredith O'Brien. You must be the farmer my father told me so much about. Huh? <laughs> Don't mind Meredith. She's always exaggerating. Anyway, Meredith came to visit for the day, so we're enjoying a family lunch. Uh-oh. Yes, we were in the middle of a fascinating discussion about how philosophy and writing intertwine. You see, I minored in philosophy in college, and Meredith is keen on the subject as well. I don't know why I'd go. I don't know why that was where I went with my accent, but there we are. Uh, I've never really cared for Fabio to begin with, but he looks like he's got a thing for Meredith, anyways. I know that philosophy is not my father's forte, but what do you think, Farmer Pyle? 
Honestly, it's not my cup of tea. I mean, I took my required courses, but it was always just a little bit too divorced from praxis for me to really be able to appreciate a good philosophical debate. I've read my Kant. I've read my Ergo or Cogito Ergo Sum. I've read my postmodernist theory. You know, it's just not my thing. By the way, postmodernism sucks. Uh, yes, I love it. I think it's uh, I think it's rubbish. But we're trying to make friends and influence people, so this is what we say. We lie. We should have a philosophical chat someday. Gus, another beer. Uncle Rod, Uncle Rodney. What? Uncle Rodney? It's that can't really be his uncle, can it? I mean, maybe is he married to Meredith? Maybe. Uncle Rodney, I wanted to show Meredith the progress on my novel. Would you excuse us? Coming right up, Pam. Oh, coming right up, Pam. <sighs> of course, you kids have fun. Thanks, Dad. Meet us later, okay? All right. Well, that was interesting. Is this a person that I'll be able to like meet more often, or is this a, a heart event with one of the two of them? That's the question, and I don't know the answer. Thanks a lot for saving me, Pyle. I enjoy spending quality time with my daughter, but when she and Elliot are together, they can get too brainy for me, you know? Here you go, Pam. Here you go, Pam. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit more. Don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled Meredith decided to visit. And two cups of Joe on the house. I th that's my Gus voice. It's been so long. I haven't, I haven't taken that voice back out yet. Thanks, Gus. Hmm. What, he says. What is it, Rod? I thought you'd be ecstatic today with your baby girl visiting you at all. I am. It's just that I feel lost sometimes. She's not a baby girl anymore. And she's grown. She's a grown woman now. And she doesn't really need her old man now, does she? So maybe this is a heart event? Nonsense. You've been taking care of that girl on your own for, what, 15 years? Yes, she's an adult, which means you can rest for a bit. But don't fret, she'll be running back to her dad at the first sign of trouble. Oh, happy face for Rodney. I guess you're right. I agree with Gus, she may need her space, but you'll always be her father. Well, I think she's mean. What, how, what on indication has she ever given me that? <laughs> yeah, whatever, who knows. So I said 10 to 12 minutes, but it looks like it's going to be more like 15 to 18 minutes. Sorry about that. Well, I better be on my way to check on the kids. Thanks a lot to you both. <laughs> and here we are. Wait, wait, wait. Can I do it before she gets there? I did do it before she got there. But I still need to see Shane. Okay, this is what I was actually trying to do. Oh, Paul, how'd you know this is my favorite? Because I stalk you. I did some fishing. I got a lot of good fish. Look at all those things. Yay, lots of fish for days. In fact, now I'm going to go ahead and... Let's, I also got a bunch of... Um, trees and I, I chopped them down because we don't like trees in the gamer pile channel apparently uh so let's go ahead and put them back and then we're gonna go to bed it is that time let's go to bed thanks for being here for an exciting episode there's a slight chance that i'll have the alien break out of the strange artifact today or tonight uh not sure which i forget also what that means i feel like it means something changes in the game but i don't remember what it is it's been it's been four years since that last happened in a game I played, so I might have to look that up. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Check out the videos you see on your screen. There's something there for you. We're helping. We're hoping to get to 750 subscribers. Thank you for getting us to 700. That's pretty awesome. And uh, check out the videos you see because there's something there I think you'll enjoy. Until next time, though, as always, my pylons, stay safe and be well.